Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Motorsport UK Junior Rallycross Championship final race here at Lydon Hill. And we had a bit of an accident earlier on in the first attempt of this race, but by the sounds of things, we have got every single car on the grid, even though there was a couple that looked like they may not be able to race in the next week, let alone in the next couple of hours, or a couple of minutes, I guess we should say. But we've got a full grid here. This should be very exciting indeed. Finley Scott then will take pole position. We have then, just next door, Ovenden. <laughs> then we've got indeed, next door to them, it is indeed Max Langmaid. It's gonna be an interesting race here. That is for certain. Who will come out on top, though? That is the big question that we're always asking. Caitlin May then will start then in fourth position. And then we have Max Watt starting in fifth position. Then just in behind, Corey Paget with Laura Vitola. And then last but not le least, we've got Hawks. Here we go, then. It's race time. It's racing action. And Owen Robbins at the back end, should I say. Sorry about that. Uh, heading then down in towards turn number one. Chesson's drift and, well, six cars are going to go through there. Who's going to come out? It's a terrible start, by the way, for Finley Scott. Pole position now down to fourth spot. And, of course, has not taken the Joker. So, terrible start here. And, well, Langmaid, who didn't look like he was going to be able to take part in this final, leads the final. What a story that is. Ovenden, who was involved in an accident with Max, ultimately is in P2. This is phenomenal stuff here. Max Watt, then, is in P3 as well. Two Maxes in the top three as it stands. And, well, Finley Scott here in a spot above her. I think you're fine. We'll see that car coming into the Joker very early and try and make up for lost time. He's been so quick all weekend, but ultimately it has not worked out here. Not got the run off the line that he would have liked to have got. Uh, Owen Robbins then and Laura Vitola, they both come through the Joker uh, early in this race. And do we see Finley Scott come through? We do indeed. And actually, very fortunately, the three cars in front have not come through here. So this may be an opportunity to right those wrongs, but where indeed does Finley Scott come out here down towards the Dover slope and the head of everybody who has already jokered here so Finley Scott what have you got then this is now your time to put in flyer lap after flyer lap the front three they're probably going to work together here don't challenge each other try and keep that gap to probably the favorite to go out and win this race you can see there that Langmaid has got so much duct tape on that car keeping it together everybody knows that is the most important component of engineering is duct tape he'll be fine don't worry about it he leads here as we come then through oh well you <laughs> see a bit of bouncy car there over the start finish line lots and lots of divots there still where the gravel was it's been displaced of course because cars have been running over it left right and center the what though was up in the air managed to keep control of the car as ovenden makes a little bit of a mistake then through chesson's drift and on the exit here is there going to be a merge side by side there is going to be a merge side by side it's brilliant stuff though and there's car number one then for finley scott so finley scott has got a head here of the number 110, that is Max Watt. So effectively into P3, I would say Finley Scott is. So he took his joker early, and it could work out to be a huge advantage. Only three, oh sorry, only one lap remains after this. We're on lap number three. Ovenden then is in P2, in behind Langmaid. Langmaid, again, I have to reiterate, didn't think he was going to be in this race due to the damage. Ovenden didn't think he's going to be in this race due to the damage of the contact that these two had. But ultimately, here they are in P1 and P2. Sensational story here in the Motorsport UK Junior Rallycross Championship. As we come then through the Joker. And on the merge, we will come. Where is that yellow car of Finley Scott? Well, there's Finley Scott. And I don't think he's even going to be challenging for P2. No, he's not. He does filter into P3. Ovenden, though, has not got the momentum here. Finley Scott looking to go around the outside of the Devil's Elbow. He's got his nose just about ahead here. There is contact between the two. Both into the gravel here. And there's a big opportunity there for what? Is what going to get up into the top three? He is. So Finley Scott's not even going to be on the podium here. Has Ovenden got damage to that car? He was very slow up into the braking zone here. The one driver who's not going to care one iota, that is Max Langmaid. He's in the lead of this race and he's golden to go ahead and take it. We can see a potential move then coming in towards. Oh, this is brilliant. Paddock Bend. Is P2 being changed? No, it hasn't. So Ovenden will take P2 and what will take P3. But Langmaid, Max Langmaid has gone out and won this race. What a story. What a drive. Fair play. He will take the checkered flag.